Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. Right now, we're going to be taking a walking tour to the Hollywood Star Walk of Fame. Right now, we're on Hollywood Boulevard. We're in the Hollywood neighborhood of Los Angeles, California. It's about, I believe, 6.30 a.m. So I figured I'd start the day off right. I'm within the vicinity of Hollywood. So why not just document this little walk? It's actually a five minute drive from where I'm located to get to the Hollywood Star Walk of Fame. However, I'm walking. So that then converts a five minute drive to a 30 minute walk. And to my knowledge, the Walk of Fame spans a couple blocks. So we'll figure out once we get there. It's nice waking up to these palm trees. We're right around the corner from the Hollywood sign too. One hour parking, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Watch jewelry repair on my right hand side. We got some of that Kylie graffiti. Salaya plant based. Oh, that's a plant based restaurant. That's decent. Liquor market. El Adobe Market. We got American Tire Centers on my left hand side. Be at Goodrich, Michelin, Uni Royale, Bridgestone. No, I don't smoke, bro. Sorry. Somebody asked me for a light, but I don't got a light, so. All right, we got paintings, prints, and posters. Look at those palm trees in the background, that's decent. Fourth Wall, Comedy Cafe, Greenhouse Herbal Center, Easy Life. What's that? Psych Cave? Psych Cafe? I guess. I can't really tell. That's their Metro 780 bus. Passing the Stone Bar. You got stones on the wall. I guess that's why they call it the Stone Bar. Unless you go in there and get stoned. <laughs> wow, look at this block right here. We're on Hollywood Boulevard and Harvard. I'm sure lifelong residents are accustomed to those palm trees. I really haven't got accustomed to it yet. This is like what I see on music videos, you know what I mean? <laughs> when I see music videos of Kali, I see those palm trees. They got Hollywood Thai restaurant and bar right here. We got Harvard House Motel. Look at this. That's a bomb shot, y'all. The sun's coming up too, huh? Look at that painting. That painting says Justice for Vicha. Wow, I wonder what happened there. Stand for Asian. Maybe he was an Asian man who probably was gunned down, right? The community, I guess, is seeking justice. Check it out. Hollywood Boulevard, 5200 block. And what do we have here? We have several e scooters and we even have the e bikes that are available for rental. Just thrown everywhere. Look at that. Just thrown everywhere. I guess nobody really cares. <laughs> That's an interesting system. Wonder who came up with the system and just leave it wherever you want. Look like we got Crispy Pork Gang. That's the name of this location. Look at that tag right there, Remo. 
Yo, that's the name of the location. It's called Crispy Pork Gang. Yo, 24 hours. That's crazy. <laughs> what a name. that Hobart Boulevard Hollywood hair studio several other businesses little plaza you know what these little plazas remind me of especially when I'm here they remind me of Friday you know uh, I think it was Friday after next when they working for the rib shack hold up that was in Cali right I should Google the location, and if I'm near that rib shack, that'd be cool to actually just drive through it. <laughs> that'd be decent. What type of font is that? What type of language? Right? Look at this. Oh, it might be Indian. Yeah. They got a whole display out here. It looks like there might be a lot of Indian restaurants. We got some Thai over here. Some Thailand food right here. Some Thailand cuisine. And the thing is, look, look at the graffiti. They straight up just jumped on the awning and they bombed up that whole top. You see it? It's crazy. We got a little Paris on my left. I'm gonna probably try to keep this flowing just so that when we get to the Star Walk of Fame, if we have more that we wanna cover, we don't like run over the hour mark. They, they got the Lakers colors over there. They got 24 with a, with a halo over it, and then they got a number eight. Another motel. Broke my ankle. <laughs> Almost broke my ankle. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me wipe myself. I literally almost went down for the count. I'll tell you something, it's actually nice to see a Hollywood sign in Hollywood. It's actually nice because I've always seen Hollywood signs in my life, like Hollywood Video or Hollywood Street in Philly. But I've always knew what it was meant to be. Like it was meant to, you know, duplicate, replicate, be like Hollywood, Hollywood, but it was never Hollywood. So it never had the same feeling, the glitz, the glamour. Now I'm here where that takes place at and boom. I can say I live to experience it, you know what I mean? UPS store. Look at that limo, it's all busted up. Yo, this is Hollywood Boulevard. This is where I be spawning my party bus from GTA, right? I think this is, because I be getting that limo in GTA, I be taking it, and I be out. Yo, this is, yo, where the casino at? I'm about to go to the casino and take a free spin on the wheel and see if I can win the free car. <laughs> Seriously though, this is Hollywood Boulevard. That's decent. Look at this, a little plaza. Look how the scooter is laying on the ground. They should have created a better system. Like if you don't return it, you get like a charge on your um, card or something. You know what I mean? U.S. Bank. Yeah, they should have created something a little bit better. Wow. I'm about to catch her whole accident. Look at he angry. Look at him, he angry as ever. And then he cuts him off. That's incredible, huh? Dogs are over there. 
big dogs. Well, one was a big dog, one was a little dog. Okay, April. I'm just gonna let everybody go by because they have the right of way. We got Ralph's on my right. Marshalls, Petco, Little Armenia, from Western and Hollywood. I noticed they have several brands of scooters. They got Lyft, they got Spin. I've seen Bird. I've seen many brands of scooters. It doesn't seem like one brand is dominant in the neighborhood. You would think that there'd be like a monopoly on it where it was one company would want to own all the e-scooters, but look at it. We got another set, look, we got Birds. That's crazy, right? Bird scooters. Farmer's boys. Check that out over there. Look it. My speed is 28 miles an hour. Damn, I'll be walking fast. Say nah. <laughs> That's one of those traffic speedo, speedometer thingy majiggies. Yoga works. Yo, so I was in Compton last night and it was dark. I was trying to capture some footage, but the camera wasn't able to pick up much. There wasn't really much out during that time anyway. And on the drive back, I was falling asleep. I was dipping out. Like I was like, I, I literally shut my eyes like 10 different times and slightly swerved. Yeah, that was dangerous, but I had to make it back. <laughs> I had to get back to where I was staying, so I ain't had no choice but to take the drive. Wow, look at that. I ain't had no choice. I was so tired. Mind you, the night before, I didn't really get any sleep. I didn't get any sleep. Plane flight left at 6, but I decided to wake up at like 2 to get ready. Start heading to the airport by like 3, 3.30 a.m. And I was waiting in the airport and everything just to leave. So with all that time, then it's three hours behind. So I was like, I was really, really tired. I didn't have much um, energy, but I was still going like the Energizer Bunny. Now, mind you, right when I got here, I got right off of the plane. I started walking right when I got here, right off the plane, fresh off the plane, started walking. Did an hour and a half walk in the heat. So, kind of tricky. Downtown Hollywood. But I got a little bit of rest. I went to sleep like 12 ish. I would say, woke up several times because I was uploading videos. I was trying to upload. So, my mental clock kept waking me up so I could keep checking the uploads. I'm trying to shoot them, upload them, delete them. Shoot them, upload them, delete them so I can manage space, you know what I mean? Look at all those drip mop tags. Look, that's a whole nother scooter over there. See this orange? I saw some scooters last night with like glow in the dark wheels. It was either glow in the dark wheels or it's reflective. We're on Gramercy Place. I don't know if it's Gramercy Place. Should be. Gramercy? Maybe. We got another scooter right here. A spin. You see what I'm telling you? I understand it's supposed to be a convenience, but like I said, there should be a docking system. Some type of, or like some type of, um, you know, sensor, some type of gyro sensor where if the scooter, when dropped off by the customer is tilted over and it's not at a even access they get charged a, a penalty fee you know what i mean then you'll see how many of them but then again even if they drop it off they don't get charged and some random joe from up the block messes with it pushes it over then ah 
It's tough. That was the same dude that was speeding earlier. Look at we got one of these little e-bikes. Got a mobile gas station passing Wilson. Oh wow, we got a little uh encampment right here. Right up the block from the Hollywood sign. Next to Hollywood Boulevard. That's incredible. I didn't even expect to catch that. Look at it, the palm trees and then the contrast with the little encampment. That's incredible. I did not expect to catch that. I stopped by the encampment too yesterday. Skid Row, the neighborhood Skid Row. Yeah, I saw it for the first time ever in real life, not just in the video. It was cool. I mean, it wasn't cool to see that many people displaced and not having homes, but it was an experience that at least I got a chance to, you know, most people, when they go to places like this, that's not one of the to-do things on their tourism list. <laughs> they don't go, hey, I wanna stop by Skid Row. But being that a document, like a mixture of rougher areas and tourism areas, I think that was interesting to have on my catalog. It's an interesting uh, contrast. And then to see that it was right next to downtown, it was crazy. Wow, look at this block, yeah. Palm trees are fire. Yo, wonder how it works out. Do those trees ever catch on fire? Right? They're so tall. I don't think so. Do they use that wood for anything? Oh, they got the bigger e-bike. Oh, that oh, that ain't an e-bike. I thought that was an e-bike. That's just a metro bike. So they do got regular metro bikes too. Those trees are really tropical looking. Fire Station 82. Netflix. Yo, the Netflix location over here in, in, in Los Angeles, California. I'm about to go knock on their door and tell them they still owe me $7.99. Say no. <laughs> I'm about to knock on the door and tell them, yo, dudes, why don't y'all update the catalog? Yo, that's crazy. We up the block from Netflix, y'all. Put a request, put a request. I'm about to stop by Netflix. Say no. Passing Van Ness Ave, the 1700 block of Van Ness Ave. Ew, we got the Hollywood sign, y'all. We on Hollywood Boulevard and we can see the Hollywood sign. Tune be pimping. It's on Van Ness and Hollywood Boulevard. The 5800 block. Yo, this is tough. This is tough, son. I just straight up took a detour. Forget the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I want to get a shot of this real quick. Yo, that's decent. That's awesome. Coming out your house, and then you just look at that every day. That should be inspiration. I'm sure these people are null to it. They're like numbed by the sign. Wow. That's fantastic. We're next to the Hollywood Hills, y'all. Wonder what the property values are going for near that sign. You know what I mean? I mean, well, we already took a drive. If you haven't checked it out, I did a drive through the hills. The hills, those are some huge houses. But like these that are not necessarily in the hills, but still within view. What y'all think? 500,000, 600,000, 700,000? Are these a million yet? Could they be? Look at that, y'all. I know I said I wasn't gonna take many detours, but I had to at least show y'all that. I just wanted to come a little closer. You can always screenshot it and zoom it in just so that y'all can see what it looks like. That was cool. That was nice. And we see Netflix from this side. The Netflix, I guess that's the headquarters. Wow. That's decent. 
that's where people go to to probably get employed. Like if you want, I guess that dream job, you will come to the studio because there's Paramount Pictures and all that different um, big Hollywood studios around the corner. Yeah, when I was a kid growing up, even in high school, people would like dream about leaving their hometown to come live in LA. You know what I mean? Like live in LA and live that dream life. I, to be completely honest with you, I don't really want to live in LA. It's a nice place to visit, but it's like the equivalent of a city. I'm in a city already. I could do the outskirts. Like if they got some nice outskirts areas, you know what I mean? I'm a city life person, born and raised in the city. So this ambience is natural to, to me. It feels normal. Seeing the graffiti, seeing a little bit of debris, the hostility, people racing and, and beeping and the road rage. Sad enough to say, that's a common thing for me. <laughs> I see it on a regular. I gotta stop right here. We're on 101 North and Hollywood Boulevard. I'm gonna cross, cross the street. I got this vehicle that's basically making a right-hand turn. He's getting on 101 North. Looks like their highway. Hollywood Adventist Church. And there's a little encampment all over there. Like two or three people. SoCal, self storage. Wonder what storage units go for over here since you're in Hollywood. Probably a lot more, right? I think I just saw a night rider drive by. <laughs> and the thing about Hollywood and LA in general, I'm sure they see a lot of stars like on a regular basis, a lot of entertainers, a lot of people who are in the, in the entertainment industry, they probably see them on the regular, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this little uh, tent. This is stuff that I didn't expect to see while I was walking down Hollywood Boulevard, I'll tell you that much. We got Tommy's, whatever this is. It looks like a franchise, that's why I'm pointing at it. Oh, it's a hamburger spot. The original famous hamburger. All right, we're on Hollywood and Bronson Ave. Wow, there's more, um, there's more tents over there. A whole strip of them. Incredible, right? And then you see the Hollywood sign again. That's crazy. I'm not gonna walk over there because I'm not really gonna glorify that at the second. I'm just pointing it out, the obvious, in case you guys can't see it. I came to see the stars, not the human beings, but the stars that are on the ground. I always seen that when I was a kid too on t TV where, you know, people go and put their hands in the ground and they leave their prints. So it'll be interesting to see in real life. Coming soon, media bar, digital recording studio, live streaming and more. Los Angeles Superior Court, Hollywood Courthouse. Yo, this is where TMZ be at when somebody come out of court. <laughs> Yo, they probably like, um, owned by the entertainment industry too. <laughs> I'm telling you, think about it. It's right next to Hollywood. It's in Hollywood. You know what I mean? The Hollywood Courthouse. Like, how can you take that serious? Like I was watching the news here before I left. I watched like five, 10 minutes of it before I left. 
And the first thing that I noticed was some of the news segments seem, I don't know, they seem, maybe it's because I'm not used to the anchors. They seem like, like a little bit, I wouldn't say scripted, but they seemed a little bit funny. Like there was a one um, segment where they said that last night there was a whole bunch of cows. There was like a whole herd of cows from the slaughterhouse that they bounced from the slaughterhouse and they was running around. And there was like interviewing people. And the people that they were in interviewing, the one little boy was like, was like, um, like he he just it was like a little boy and he was so well spoken and I'm like that kid's a little Disney star like they, they, that, that, that's a paid actor <laughs> like he was like um and if you see the cows run just 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 stay in the house and the lady was like well if I was a cow I would run too because I don't want to get killed and I'm like what like this is too too funny like these these new segments are so funny it just looked and made up almost it looked too good to be true. Wow, look at the Hollywood Hills. Oops. Wow, spectacular fatality. Finish them. That was cool. Hollywood Toyota. Yeah. And then the topics, like, was about, like, local stuff. Like, for example, like the um, class of 2021. I was looking at some of the students that had graduated, they would give highlights of all of the kids that graduated. And some of the kids, I'll be completely honest with you, they look very well made up. They look like um, like Disney kids, like Disney cast, but they were actually students. So I can imagine their family probably lives in the hills. They graduated 12th grade and boom. Now they're on the news and they get the little com commendation, like, uh, you know, commend it for actually completing their education and then I was looking at the pictures and I was like no way like that's a little actor like no way <laughs> it looked it funny it's hard to explain like all the news over here looked like a show the news where I'm from looks like the news for the most part but the news over here looked like scripted <laughs> Palm trees, as far as the eye can see, they tower over all the buildings. And I'm surprised they still got some of these regular trees. I don't know, I guess you need all trees. You know, trees help uh, purify the air. So it's only right. Got a little plaza right here. Gower Plaza on Gower Street. Hollywood Boulevard and Gaia, Gower Street. Yo, they got um, Viacom. Viacom owns a lot in the entertainment industry, too. Wow, Viacom's right up the block, y'all. Look at Viacom. That's crazy, right? See that? See that big old sign? That's crazy. I'm across the street. You got a lot of people out here waiting. Wonder what they're waiting for. Danny Kane, John Hodiak, William DeMille, Johnny Mac Brown. So we're within the area. The only bad thing is the sun's behind me. So the sun is actually showing my shadow, which normally I don't like. But George Meeker. Y'all gonna have to see my um my um my shadow until the sun disappears. Mm 
Virginia Valley so far. <laughs> yeah, so far, a lot of those names I don't recall <laughs> ever watching growing up, so I haven't seen anybody. Bill Crosby. Who is Bill Crosby? And then they got them flipped. They should have had them all the same way. So they're all flipped. A film. Oh, so they got like TV. They got a microphone. Bob Hope. Hill Garde. TV. Okay. So let's go down more. So right now, I guess we're on the Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame. I didn't expect it to be something just randomly out in the public. But this is just randomly out in the public. And right next to the Walk of Fame, we got people over here in the encampment again. There's not a shortage of encampments in the city. Guy Fury TV. So I'm going to just walk until I see a name that seems like known to me. Gene Kelly, that sounds familiar. Leslie Karen, Lou Jordan, Walter O'Keefe. Yeah, they should have left them all the same way. They really make you stop and like read them. <laughs> King Smith, Usher. All right. I definitely know who Usher is. You see that they got a record? Usher. Oh, they got Pitbull too. Check it out. Peter, Mary J. Blige. Okay. Let's see if we can get a Tune 215 star over here. <laughs> That'd be funny. Hold on. Let me straighten up this camera. That'd be funny, right? A Tune 215 star. We got Mary J. Blige. That's cool. Paul Whitman. Jeanette McDonald. I'm trying to read them upside down, too. Kurt Russell. I've heard of Kurt Russell. Goldie Hawn. Deborah Messing, Eric. Damn, that's upside down. McCormick. They got a lot of empty stars. I'm telling you. I'm about to come over here with a marker, with a magic marker, and write Tune 215 and put my YouTube channel. Put a little YouTube um, box. Oh, Cypress Hill. I remember Cypress Hill. That's that's like a, like a rock band, ain't it? Cypress Hill? Like alternative rock? I don't even know. I said alternative rock. It's definitely not alternative rock. Like heavy rock? I don't know. Anyway, Cypress Hill sounded familiar. Henry B. Um, okay. Vincent Price. Philip. Whoever. George O'Brien. Jeff Dunham. Comedy. Isn't Jeff Dunham the dude that does the Ahmed? I'll kill you. Yeah, Jeff Dunham is the comedy dude. You see how they got the happy and sad face? Kind of disturbing. <laughs> Ken Corday. They got a television, I guess because, you know, you're a television star. Yo, they got Dr. Phil. Get out of town. Dr. Phil gets his own. Dr. Phil McGraw. No way. Dr. Phil got his own John. Pinky Lee. Yeah, these are all over the place. So I don't think I'm really going to be stopping and reading every single one. Because I really would like to show you guys the, the surrounding environment too. You know what I mean? Oh, speaking of Usher, look at this Usher banner up there. Yeah, I really would like to show you guys the surrounding environment. I just stare at the ground. But it's pretty cool to actually be here. Anna Harding. All right. Mary Provost. Earl Goldwyn. Sounds so familiar. Arlene Harris. I'm going to just keep it up until I see something that's entertaining Constance Cummings Carol Lawrence Alice Brady what happened buddy a donut donut and an orange juice here you go man I got five bucks for, for you sorry buddy Eat. I'll um, um, make sure to eat, all right? Yeah. Yeah, he asked for money for a donut. Donut and the orange juice. So, give him five bucks. 
probably can't get much <laughs> in Hollywood with five bucks, yet alone a dollar. Let me show y'all this corner. All right, Eddie Arnold, Betty Davis, Nat King Cole. I'm gonna just keep it tilted where y'all can see a little bit of the front, but y'all can also see some of the ground. Y'all can't read it, but Kenny Or Ortega, Constance, Jane Froman, Olympus. Yeah, these are a lot of these people. I, I don't really see many people that I know. Billy Joel. I've heard it's Billy Joel. Isn't Billy Joel like a like a country singer? Billy Joel's like a country singer, ain't he? I've heard of him. Um, Kathleen, what's that? Lockhart, Barry Manilow. <laughs> they got Barry Manilow. I'm trying to see Michael Jackson star. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say. Eddie Fisher. Carol Channing, Joel McRae. Yeah. They got, uh, I thought that was Tim Burton. Maurice Turner. So they don't even put their hands. I'm here thinking that they put their hands. I, I don't know, for some reason, I had an impression that they put their hands, that like they like stamped their hands, but it's not. They actually put a little emblem of what part of the entertainment industry they was in. Film, like a filmmaker gets a little film camera. A TV star gets a TV. A musician, a singer, look at Wayne King. Wayne King appears to get a microphone. So I'm assuming that he was a singer. Hugh Herbert, you see he gets the film. It's upside down, but he gets a, a film ca camera. Sabu, Lara Hope, you see she gets a film ca camera. Dave O'Brien, I've heard of Dave O'Brien. Anthony Quinn, Robert, whoever, they get a record. Yeah, Jerome Cowan. Betty Hooten, Chris Berman. Yeah. Billy Gerber. Side, y'all. Then this is a setup. They got them on both sides. They got them on the corners. They got them going up there. They got them on the left side across the street. I see them going up there, and they're actually on both sides of the street, up Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, there are a lot of stars, so I guess that makes sense. So we could have been walking by known people on the other side. Wow, look at that Grand National. That Grand National look clean. A black Grand National in Hollywood. That'd be decent to own and take it to Philly. Own it, take it to Philly, and they'd be like, yo, that's a clean Grand National. I'd be like, yeah, bro, I brought it from Hollywood. I bought it in Hollywood and I imported it, or I drove it across country. Hold on, let me see him drive it by. This is worth looking at. Black Grand National. It looks pretty clean. young brother in it too <laughs> i gave him the aok -okay sign and he gave me the aok -okay sign back i think i piped him up a little bit john was hot though john was fire grand national hollywood boulevard and vine street on oh, vine archie mayo yeah so i mean unless i see like a jim carrey or you know somebody extraordinary <laughs> Michael Jackson. But um, <laughs> unless I see somebody cool, I don't think I'm going to stare down at anymore. Gene Lockhart. Because I feel like they messed it up when they flipped them. I guess that's to keep you trapped here. Like looking up, looking left, looking right, looking, spinning around. Like you look straight up like a tourist trying to read each and every. Like that's how they know that I'm not from here. They're like, look at this fool walking around with a camera recording the ground. <laughs> 
but it's cool to say that I've been here. You know what I mean? Like I've been to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That was that was like a cool egg experience. Bill, Bill Crosby. Why they got two Bill Crosby stars? I could have swore I saw the Bill Crosby star back there. Peggy Lee, Sophie Tucker, June Locker. I already saw the June Locker. What? They got doubles? They got duplicates? Master, remove one of them duplicates and put a tune in there. Say <laughs> no. Yeah, it's cool. I think I'm all start out. <laughs> But it's decent. I'm here, y'all. I'm here. Like, how much more I'm here do you need to see that I'm here? Y'all just saw the supermoto drive by on the next block. Drove left. Gene Arthur. Oh, they got vegan wings across the street. The Impossible Burger. Man, she was out. I just heard footsteps by, by me. Wow, look at that. Organic wings. There's a lot of plant-based food over here, which is cool. I found that out because I already ate at a couple spots. That's decent. Yeah, so I haven't seen many movie stars either. Zachary, whoever, Fay Ray. Giancarlo Esposito, Billy Dove. Geraldine Fitzgerald. That's a mouthful. Charles Ray. Hey, I, I, I think I remember Charles Ray. Walter Matthew. Ha, isn't that like a... Yeah, I was going to say, is, is, isn't that like a TV dude? Jack Carlson. I'm trying to see Jack Nicholson. Say no. Eddie Murphy. I'm trying to see um, Chris Tucker. I'm trying to see Ice Cube star. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see, like, you know what I mean? Trying to see Will Smith star. That'd be decent. Where's Will Smith star located? I'm trying to see Will Smith star because I'm from Philly. So it's only right. Harry, Carey Jr. Yeah, I'm trying to see Will Smith. I believe this spans for about 15 blocks. I don't know. I'm, I'm just taking a lucky guess. Tony Orlando, Gail Davis, Don Murray, Forrest Tucker. They got Forrest Tucker. Where's Chris Tucker? You got Popeye's chicken. We got a scooter dude. We're next to the 212, 217, 222, and 312 Metro bus stop. We got the mountains over there, the Hollywood mountains. And then look at Pineapple Express. Cannabis delivered now. PineappleExpress.com. Wow, you can get your weed delivered over here. Damn, times have changed, yo. Times have truly changed. You can get your weed delivered. I remember when that was a felony. <laughs> now you can order it, you know what I mean? You can order your weed. That's crazy. And then the thing is called Pineapple Express. Damn. We're on Calhanga Boulevard. Calhanga. You can see the Hollywood sign from right here, too. Johnny Maddox. Teresa Wright. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for about another block. And then I'm going to turn. Like I said, across the street, they have the same thing. Fred Mac Murray. Yo, this is where I be at in GTA, yo. You know why? Because I be climbing that drone right there and I be sniping people from the top of it. Right up there. I be staying up there and I be sniping people that be at the, 
West Coast um, or the Los Santos. <laughs> I'm about to say West Coast Customs. Yeah, I be sniping people, y'all. Oh, I think I got an arcade around here. Speaking of that, I'm about to go check out my arcade and go pick up my um, bread. <laughs> go pick up my collections. Jack Black. I know who Jack is. Jack Black. He's an actor. They're building a whole building over there. Hollywood, Muso, and Frank Grill, Museum Attractions, Hollywood and Highland, Hollywood and Vine. Wilcox. Breakfast, Akai Bowls. Vincent Price. Yeah, these must all be older folks. Jimmy Dorsey, Les Brown. Ah, oh, they got a Les Brown. Les Brown gets a star? Les Brown is a motivational uh, speaker. Wow, Les Brown. That's crazy, right? And you know what's more crazy? Look what they got next to Les Brown. <laughs> Hollywood Exotic Shop, y'all. Les Brown, you're a freak boy, bro. You you got your star placed right there. Say <laughs> no. Nah, I don't think you got a choice on where you can place it. Wow, this star is cracked up. I guess that star wasn't all it's cracked up to be, huh? Say <laughs> no. Nah. Art Baker. John Sturge. Clara Kimball Young. Eddie Anderson. John Howard. Wow, this is blocks and blocks. And then they skipped a lot of stars. I guess they leave it open for new people, you know what I mean? Wow, look at that um, crane moving. The crane's actually moving. I guess they're doing some work over there. It's moving as we speak. Crazy, right? Got an e-bike just thrown on the side of the road over there. I got some nice murals. See that mural? Speaking of murals, look at the Kobe mural they got across the street. They got a Kobe one. I'm about to cross and check out that Kobe mural. does actor headshots lafotog.com I'm about to go in and get my headshot say no <laughs> I ain't no actor or am I dun 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 to be continued on the next episode of tune 215 yeah I think I'm gonna turn down here I'm gonna try someplace different I think I got tired of like walking through the star walk the star walk's cool and all but I want to see a little bit more. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people working over here. Oh, we got a bunch of graffiti over here, which is cool. This is 
It says no riding on sidewalks. Those bird scooters don't want you to ride them on sidewalks. That's crazy, right? What's up, buddy? McDonald Wright. Well, the sun's rising, the sun's providing a little bit more highlights to all of the definition that's around me. There's a spot for rent right here. So I guess there's pros and cons to being near Hollywood Boulevard. Pros is, you know, you're next to, I guess, the city. <laughs> if that means anything to you, you got a little shopping strip, you know, Hollywood Boulevard got a lot of stores and whatnot. Cons is, just look out here on Selma Ave. I see already an encampment. Uh, encampment out here so i don't know for a city with a whole lot of wealth there sure is a whole lot of people living in tents bros and sisters oh wow there's a whole block over here that i didn't even expect to find wow that's incredible y'all dang a whole block That's crazy, y'all. I'm just gonna turn this way. Well, I feel like I'm next to something that looks familiar and I've never been here, so. I'm gonna walk over here. Yeah. It's not cool. We got bamboo right here. You know, you got so many musicians that blow up. They come over here to LA and they blow up. What's being done to help the community by the people who actually have wealth? Cause I ain't got no wealth. So y'all could be like, Toon, but what are you doing to help the community? Toon's, <laughs> compared to these wealthy people, I'm broke. You know, so. But you got people who have millions and billions who live in this city. There's billionaires that live in here. Look at this Nissan. Such an awkward looking little Nissan. Got a little surfboard. Yeah, I'm about to head to the beach too soon. Trying to go to the beach. But yeah. It's crazy. Oh, we got CNN around the corner. What? Yo, there's CNN around the corner. Yo, I'm mind blown. All I need to do is walk up to Warner Brothers Studios. <laughs> Where's Warner Brothers at? Hold on. I got to get on Google after this. Oh, man. Oh, that's that that blows. Yeah, that blows. That's just the stuff that you see naturally walking. That blows, y'all. City of Los Angeles, Department of Water and Power, Hollywood branch office. I guess uh, I guess they don't deal with freezing temperatures over here. So being homeless over here might be a little bit easier than it is in Philly. Because in Philly, we get the brick freezing temperatures. The negative di digits, the single digits. I want Sunset Boulevard. Sunset Boulevard, y'all. This is what Sunset Boulevard looking like. Tune on Sunset Boulevard. What do you know? Hollywood Athletic Club. The Hollywood Athletic Club. Who is housed when money talks? Whoa, that's almost like what I was just talking about, right? Wow. That's powerful. Ah, look at this little Volkswagen. It's drawing nice. 
That was nice. I saw a Ferrari last night in downtown. Yeah. I mean, I seen a couple in Philly, so it's not like that spectacular. But I know they're probably more common over here because over here is where the wealthy reside. Juice served here, optometry. See a bada bar. Oh, this is the Staples headquarters? It's like, nah. <laughs> it's just a regular Staples store. I'm all hype, right? This is the Staples headquarters. Entertainment, sir, Hollywood services. Sir meaning studio, instrumental, rental, or instrument rental. I said instrumental. It's not easy trying to narrate, walk, not trip. Operate the camera. <laughs> I gotta focus on several different things. Passing the two metro bus stop. Are there stars down here too? Oh no, these, these stars are like completely irrelevant. <laughs> this is Hollywood, the city of Philadelphia. I said the city of Philadelphia. The city of Hollywood. Yo, that was priceless. <laughs> the city of Philadelphia. I said it said. Hollywood, the city of Philadelphia. No, it didn't. It said Hollywood, the city of Hollywood. Wow, another one, y'all. We're on the 6400 block of Sunset Boulevard. Gift shop. Yeah, I'm going to stop by the gift shop later. Oh, this is CNN, y'all. Dang it. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, we got a billboard right here. This billboard is probably considerably helpful to figuring stuff out only in Hollywood. see anything that's like completely interesting here my bad i think i had it framed up ugly a lot of entertainment things to like do but i'm not here to participate in indoor activities oh snap there's a dome over there like a dome theater Veggie Grill. Oh, they got a Veggie Grill restaurant. I guess a lot of people in LA like vegetables. <laughs> Cause I see a ton of veggie based or vegetable uh, businesses. Cinerama Theater. Oh, Cinerama Theater. It's like a dome. Is that like the, we got that. I forgot the name of it. We got one. It's called oh, the IMAX. Is that like the IMAX theater? Because it's a dome. You can look up. It might be. That's decent. De Noventa. Wow. No, no vending zone. You seen that? You seen that sign? It said no vending. Los Angeles Film School. Oh, this is LA Film School? Wow. I got a degree in digital film and video production, but I didn't go to Los Angeles Film School. <laughs> I attended school in Philadelphia. Pacific Sin Arama Theater. That was incredible.
caviar. BT Awards. BT used to be located in New York, right? I think it still is. I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all think. Is BT still located in New York? Or did they move? I know MTV and BT was in New York. Because when I was leaving high school, I remember some students really wanted to go to New York to work for BT or MTV. I remember some students wanted to come to LA so they can do Hollywood related things. But it's probably one of those, you gotta know someone to know someone that knows someone type of deal. I don't think there's like a, a casting office that's like, sure, you, average Joe from the street, would you like to come and get a job? <laughs> We want to hire you now. Let's make you a star. Wow, that building seems to be see-through. She's gonna let her go. She appeared to not want to go, so. guy's about to do street work so he's marking the grounds they got a spot called brothers meatballs sandwiches salads plates desserts and more the restaurant right here the waffle there's people eating i guess they're getting their breakfast on gentlemen we've went well over our one hour walking tour mark you guys know i try to keep these at one hour i want to say thank you all for watching i appreciate your support please leave a comment in the comment section show some love hit that thumbs up button every thumbs up helps this video get recommended to other viewers uh don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell because we're going to do a giveaway when this YouTube channel reaches 50,000 subscribers. We're gonna give away a brand new e-scooter to one lucky viewer so you guys can own your very own e-scooter. Uh, with that being said, this is Tune, Mr. Tune Dollars, Tune 215, Tune in Hollywood, Hollywood Tune, and I'm tuning out.